everyone, and today I have a very exciting video for you. Today we are celebrating hitting over 400 subscribers. That is crazy to me. I can't believe we hit over 400 subscribers. So I just wanted to tell you guys thank you and that you guys are the best, and wow, I just can't believe it. Um, anyway, I just wanted to let y'all know that once I hit 500 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. So stay tuned for that once I hit 500, because I know we're going to get there soon, because y'all are the best. Um, today I took to Twitter and asked what kind of video I should do when I hit 400 and everybody said that I should do like one of my favorites videos and so today I'm going to be talking about my top 10 favorite books and book series and all that sorts of stuff. So all of my top 10 favorite books except for I am not going to be talking about two of them or two series and that series is going to be the Harry Potter series and the Mortal Instruments series. I know you guys know that those are my two top favorite series of all time. Like, I love them both so much. So I'm not going to include them just because I know you guys know that I love them. So I'm just going to talk about ten other books that you might not know that are my favorite. My favorites can change, so these are just my top ten favorites at the moment. Just so you guys know, none of these are in any particular order. And yeah, let's go ahead and get on into the video. Okay, so the first book that I want to talk about is Rebel Bell by Rachel Hawkins. I absolutely love this series, and I cannot wait for the next book. I am so excited. I love this book because it's nothing like I've ever read before. The next book that I want to talk about is The Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. I absolutely love this book. I picked this book up and I didn't think it was going to be something that I would actually enjoy reading. It wasn't really my genre, I didn't think. But I read it anyway, and I went through it so fast. I went through the next one so fast as well. I cannot wait for the third book. It was amazing. So even if you don't think it's a genre that you would actually enjoy or typically read, I would recommend picking it up because it really wasn't something I thought I would like, and I absolutely loved it. The next book that I want to talk about is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. I absolutely love this book. This book had been on my shelf for over a year, and I had just been kind of blowing it off, blowing it off, something I really didn't want to read. And finally, very recently, I just decided that I was going to sit down and read it. Like, it had been on my shelf for way too long, and I just needed to give it a chance. Um, I didn't think I was going to like it, and boy was I wrong. This book was amazing. And the next book that I want to talk about is The Program by Suzanne Young. I'm going to be talking about this more in my wrap-up video, but this book definitely made the list because it is amazing. It is nothing like anything I've ever read before, and it was just made you really think about things, and it was just an amazing book. The next book that I want to talk about is Confess by Colleen Hoover. This is the first book of Colleen Hoover's that I had ever read, and it was amazing. I have read so many more of her other books, and this one is still my favorite. I absolutely love it, and if you love new adult contemporary romance, definitely pick this one up, especially if you're a Colleen Hoover fan, because you will love this book. The next book that I want to talk about is Alienated by Melissa Landers. I absolutely love this book. I knew I would love it from the second I picked it up after I read the back. I knew I would love this one. And I ended up loving it, so if you love an alien romance story, you should definitely check this one out because this is so, so good. And the next book I want to talk about is Be With Me by Jennifer L. Armentrout, writing as Jay Lynn. This is one of her new adult contemporary romance books, and I absolutely love it. This is the second book in the Wait For You series, and the second one is totally my favorite one because I can relate with the main character the best out of all three of those. Um, the main character in this one has a knee injury, and I also have a very similar knee injury, so through that and some other things, I just connected with her the best, and I just really, really love this book. But if you're into new adult contemporary romance, I would definitely give this series a try. And the next book that I'm going to be talking about is Don't Look Back by Jennifer L. Armentrout. It is so, so good. The plot twist in this book I was not expecting at all. I absolutely loved it. I have never read a book that I didn't like of hers. If you like plot twists that you're not going to expect, definitely pick this one out because it is so good. The last book slash series that I want to talk about is the Selection Series by Kara Cass. I absolutely love these books. I could talk all day about them. They are amazing and it's really light and fun to read. Um, and I got through all of these so quickly. Like, they are amazing. So if you haven't checked out the Selection Series, definitely go check it out. So that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please also don't forget that Harry Potter and the Mortal Instrument series is at the top of this list. These are just 10 of the other favorite books that I have. 
Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!